place. On the other hand, it's a struggle having to do everything from, from grassroots, from the bottom up. It just seems to me to be an extraordinarily natural thing to do. I mean, I've always have done that since I was a kid, you know, made my own things. Particularly as, you know, as a kid born soon after the Second World War, where you had to do your own things because there wasn't lots of things else to do. I always had this thing that within the sort of material world, someone did it. Someone did it, whatever it is, whether it's a radio set or a car engine or a, b a bottle of lemonade, somebody did it. Well, if somebody did it, and I regard myself as reasonably intelligent, I can do it. I mean, increasingly, I think one of the horrid things about modern technology, it becomes increasingly difficult to do it. If my computer, if my laptop breaks down, I haven't got a clue. We slowly become disconnected from our environment, you know. Right. I understand what it means, you know, when people say DIY movement, but it just seems so self-evident and obvious that that's the way to behave. You know, and it is the next generation that's got to pick up the pieces, got to find their way, and, and you know, and it's, it's whether they have the ability, even within themselves, to survive. It just started from nothing. It just started from scratch, started by a few kids. It was like a small uh, circle of people who believe and who are trying to be together because it was for us only one possibility to survive. Political punk hardcore music in Russia make a lot of for the some political movements uh, because a lot of political DIY punk hardcore bands they give good attitude to the people. Our um, political scene in Russia very young. We have not so long history of resistance. After breaking of Soviet Union, it's only less than 20 years, and uh, sometimes people don't know what they can do. We have uh, the real totalitar state and real police state working uh, not for the interest of, of the people who live in Russia. The government and the authorities, they don't care about people at all. We don't have a real education right now. We don't have any social activities right now. People are just left to rot. We have 1% filthy rich and 99% filthy poor.
poorest shit actually. These people, they realize that nobody cares about them. And at the same time, uh, neo-Nazis use this situation very well. So they just demonstrated people that uh, like uh, join join us, join neo-Nazis in Russia and you will be all right. We'll give you war, job, we'll give you everything. What we have in our country, and I think the same in Ukraine and Belarus, I think the same in Poland, and I think the same is here. It's a problem of stupid people. Of course, if we have a lot of Nazis, it's going deep to subculture, and this shit is everywhere. It's in the government, it's in the street, it's in your kitchen when you're speaking with your parents, and it's in the punk rock show. I decided that I don't want to be a part of this scene. If I uh, want to stay in the punk rock, I need to create my own scene. So we started from lyrics about our scene, about uh, our point, about that we uh, disagree. It's really dangerous to be an anti-racist, to be a person of color, to be a gay person in Russia. It's dangerous not that somebody can tell you something bad on the street. It means that people can kill you. Neo-Nazi movement is really huge. It's really popular uh, among Russian youth. To be an anti-racist, it means that every day, like every hour when you are on the subway, on the bus, on the street, uh, you should be ready for attack. You should be ready to defend yourself. So you have your knives for self-protection? Yes. Exactly. And did you use it so far for self-protection? Never. <laughs> Are you afraid of using it? No. No. Yeah, no. 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 But we no. Uh, didn't have uh, such situations. And I'm glad that I didn't have this situation. If there will be some threat uh, of my life, uh, I will use it. One our friend was killed in our concert. It was uh, uh, three and a half years ago. It was, I think, our sixth or seventh concert uh, ever of what we feel and he just uh, came out from the metro station and in the middle of the road uh, was attacked by seven people and uh, they make him 30 knife hits 30 to head to neck to face police said we don't want to work about this thing we it's just like hooliganism we don't want to work we don't know how to find this person and things like that We made a lot of benefit concerts, we sold a lot of CDs, we collect a big amount of money, we found a lawyer, he found this gang and four people from seven was arrested and now in jail. I think it's our victory what we make together. It was really serious shit. Every week I got a phone call from some guys who told me you must stop your activity or we will beat you, we will uh, beat your girlfriend, I don't know, we will burn your flat and things like that. People was very scared to come to the show because they uh, was scared about Nazi attacks or police uh, attack to this place. <laughs> But then movement grows up and grows up and now, I don't know, it's 
several thousands. I got a lot of emails from the people north of Russia, near the Japan side, and people just wrote that, wow, we just thought about it and you think about it. And for me, it was the biggest pleasure in my life. Right now we have a scene, we have a lot of bands, a lot of labels, like we have a real DIY scene. People waited for the persons who must say the first word. Проверочная линейка and what we feel, I think we say first word and uh, said it very loud. kids uh, like us who are doing the same thing. Kids who don't want to have anything in common with Nazis. In every city started to grow anti-fascist activity. People started to make fanzines, websites, uh, their own bands, uh, local shows with very good quality bands and a lot of people. After first album, a lot of people started to sympathize to anti-fascist movement. And uh, for Nazis, we are enemies number one. And at the same time, we have police who just come to shut the gigs uh, because uh, somehow they see us as a threat. Uh, they called us extremists. Well, we are not extremists. We just play music and we express our views. We're thinking about the simple fact that racism is wrong. <laughs> government make a new law. This law uh, against any extremist activity. It's a law against any people with different views from views of government. And so we all now are under pressure. And even if you are not a member of direct action gangs just uh, for playing music. <laughs> In every country, you know, the social, the social struggle, uh, there were a lot of fighting, lots of problems with police. And uh, finally, like those people who were fighting, they changed the society. They changed it for the better, for the more tolerant world. So I guess maybe uh, these words are too loud, but uh, we are fighting for a better future, actually, for a better future for a lot of people. <laughs> Punk rock, it's always something political, it's uh, the roots of the punk rock and DIY scene, it's uh, always uh, some resistance uh, and try to exchange something and we think that the music, it's uh, the only uh, one part of our resistance, it's the first step. 
to begin do something against uh, this uh, capital chaos which uh, um, happened uh, in the world. <laughs> Чем больше человек, тем больше и мотивации. Но по большей части давайте просто делаем так, что мы можем дать людям, чтобы они к нам в движение приходили. Как мы их можем заставить мотивировать? Практически, да. Потому что если понять, почему люди вообще приходят, да, то там становится понятно, и как других мотивировать. Давайте по кругу тогда скажем, кто почему пришел. Петицию говорит, хочешь поехать на собрание автономного действия? Я говорю, да, а ты сам думаешь, сейчас приеду, мне бомбу дадут, я пойду взрывать. Значит, как все по традиции анархистов. Взял, власть разрушил и все, переворот. Ну, наивный был. Пришел, а там все сидят такие, еще там взрывать. Они какие-то наклейки, антивоенщины. Что-то мне так спутно. Думаю, ну все равно лучше, чем мои дурые азиа идиоты, которые бухают, вообще ни хрена не делают. Поклейку я на клеечке похожу, что же не заняться. Вот, Ну и на собрание стал ходить. Вот, ну ходил, ходил, и там в процессе прощения тысячи миллиардов книг, споров с миллиардами людей, пришел к тому, что я сейчас есть. А не ухожу, потому что, ну, первый момент, что все равно, а кто, если не я, этим будет заниматься? Второе, конечно, уже довольно-таки обидно за бесцельно прожитые годы, и останавливаться ни хрена себе, всю молодость я убивал на это, еще что, сейчас развернуться и сказать, я лузер и неудачник, хрен там. Потому что если погибать, так с музыкой. И действительно, мне показалось, что... If uh, I will not do it, I think that it will be no result. All this uh, activity, all this concert, it's just for nothing. We just need to fight back. <laughs> Just uh, start something and don't be afraid, don't listen to people uh, who just tell you, like, don't do this, like, uh, you're suicidal, it's stupid, get a real life. Like, get a real life, actually. Just uh, do what you want to do and uh, you'll see that it would be hard, it would give you some scars, uh, definitely, but uh, you'll see results anyway. It's rather seeing it as a slow process of, like, osmosis rather than, like, overnight revolution i mean we're obviously not there yet but um yeah you have to start somewhere <laughs> it's important that we communicate that we need to make a change we have to do this change together I would quite like to, you know, learn how to make explosives and, and shoot people and go and, like, you know, take out some of the bastards who fuck this world up. Realistically, I probably wouldn't be too good at doing that and they would probably catch me before I actually managed to do it. So, you know, a step down from that kind of level of direct action, shall we say, or terrorism or whatever you want to put it, is doing something which I actually think in the long term might be more useful, and that is just trying to get his ideas out that there are, you know, there is an alternative, a serious alternative. The, 
problem is we're living right in the middle of this huge society, so everyone's getting pulled in a thousand directions by mainstream society. There's all these pressures on us which are getting in the way of, like, us focusing on sorting out stuff here on the DIY level. The fact is, if we want to break the political system, we can't do it with something which mirrors the political system. I do, I do, because I believe in it and I want to just help. If I didn't do anything, I would just hate myself too much to want to, you know, to carry on. Try to live now, really. Try to live and work with what you have. Work within what is possible. And that's for you to decide, really. It's as big and as grand as you can make it. Stick to your politics, believe in what you believe in, and make sure you do it. Eso es el alotomismo, ¿no? Es un, una fuerza que dice, lo podemos hacer. You don't even have to believe that you can do it, you just have to try. Yeah. And then you find out afterwards that it, okay, well, it worked. Yeah, it's easy, it's not magic. get back to the society and this is my way this is my point of view this is what I'm standing for I do hope I will be standing for that uh, till the end or at least uh, for for a long time <laughs>